Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to have a look at comparing um, a cheaper branded battery versus the uh, RBC17, the branded APC battery for a UPS backup. Now I've got several of these backups, um, these plugs backup UPSs around my house, um, one on the computer, one on the, um, the NAS the file storage I think one's on the CCTV as well but what happened was um, a month or so ago one of the batteries died and needed replacing and I automatically went out and bought the expensive um, APS or APC sorry UPS uh, version the RBC 17 and I looked back um, and I can't believe how much I paid for it and just what happened was the other week another one went wrong and I thought am I going to spend this much money again or look for a cheaper alternative and I thought it'd make a good video as well so that's the reason why I went out and bought it to have a look at it so we're going to have a look at it uh, and compare the two in this video right so let's start comparing these two batteries and see what the similarities and the differences are now I'm putting the link to buy these items uh, in the description below if you want to have a look at that uh, both from Amazon UK is where I bought mine. So let's start having a look at prices then. So the UASA one is £20, including delivery, is what I paid. Uh, but for the APC, the RBC17, I paid £70 plus, I think, a bit of delivery as well. Or was it free delivery? But it was around £70. Um, at the moment on Amazon, as the prices do on Amazon, they fluctuate a fair bit, but at the moment it's being advertised to 60, at 65, so that's why I've kind of put it around the 65 to 70 pound kind of mark for that. So the differences between the two are the connectors. Now this is quite a big difference. Uh, the RBC17, obviously it's built for the UPSs and it plugs straight in, but there are smaller connectors on the UASA. What does that kind of look like? Well, it kind of looks like this, really, uh, with the tabs on when it gets delivered. And then if you take off the tabs, so the cheaper versions on the right hand side, you see that you can tell there that the connectors are smaller. Um, you can buy converters for them as well, as I've seen people do. So really what you're looking for is a 4.8 mil female to a 6.3 mil male terminal converter. Now, I did a quick Google on this and some did come up. Um, they seem to be uh, for a pair. They seem to cost around sort of five ninety nine um, UK price uh, plus delivery. So you're probably going to pay something around eight pounds for a pair of these converters. But if you're using a lot of these batteries uh, or you're swapping them out every sort of five years and you think you're going to use them a fair bit, then it might be worth investing in them. But um, this is what they look like. The converters, once you kind of slide them in on the bottom or loose on the top you can see one loose there on its own they just convert it up uh, so it fits a lot nicer onto the uh, ups so the big difference between the two batteries is that they're both obviously 12 volts but the cheaper uasa is a seven amp hour battery whereas the rpc 17 is a nine amp hour battery what does that mean well it just really means that it's got more storage so you're going to get more backup battery time out of the official APC one than you will uh, the seven amp hour battery. I couldn't find any nine uh, comparative kind of nine amp hour batteries um, at a cheaper price at all on Amazon. Um, so, you know, what does that mean? Well, if you go into parachute uh, like I have here, um, this is the software that comes normally with your UPS. This is on the PC version. You'll see at the bottom there, it says estimated battery time. Now this is on my kind of PC um, and it says 32 minutes. That's the official time for this uh, nine amp hour battery. On my setup, obviously it will vary depending on what you've got plugged in. Uh, but for me, it says 32 minutes. And when it comes to warranties, uh, APC do say on their website that the battery is or does have a two year warranty. Um, whereas on the UASA site on Amazon, I couldn't really find anything. So don't expect it to be a two year warranty. Otherwise, the companies would normally sort of sing and dance about their extended warranty periods. I would guess that battery would probably have a one year warranty, although I'm not totally sure because I couldn't find any details about it at all. Now, one thing I haven't put on here is how much they weigh. If you really want to know how much they weigh, I decided to weigh them. Obviously, the APC is a nine amp hour battery, so it's probably a bit more solid inside. 
Um, I put that on the scales and it came out at two and a half kilos. Whereas the uh, seven amp hour UASA came out at 2.1 kilos. So there is a bit of difference in the weights between the two. If you happen to wonder how the uh, UASA battery was delivered, it was in a box just like this, a perfect size box for it to fit in. So I just needed to open up the top and then there was just a layer of cardboard on top of it, covering the kind of connectors. Um, as some people had complained on, on Amazon about how it was kind of packaged and delivered. Okay, so this is the um, UPS that's under my desk. It's just really running um, a PC and a monitor. So let's put the cheaper battery in and see what happens. So this is the latest uh, one I bought at full price that I've put in. I've been running for mm, a few weeks. So we'll just take this out and put in the new one, the cheap one. So you just have to take off the plastic uh, terminal kind of protectors off the connectors and then you're ready to go don't forget to put red on the red so even though these aren't the official connectors they're not too bad actually they kind of fit on okay they're not as loose as what i thought they would be and they seem to stay on okay probably just not as tight a fit as you're probably used to with the official uh, rbc uh, battery from apc felt like the other uh, plastic clip wasn't going on very well but once i'd given it a really good push it was just i couldn't see how it could go on any further to be honest so i just slotted the battery in and then put the cover back on and then what i did after that was i just connected it turned it on again made sure the green light was happy and then plugged in the pc again turned the pc on and then started the uh, parachute software again just to see what the battery was up to and how much time it thought i'd actually got uh, in reserve in the battery if the power goes off i did take out the old battery out of the uh, ups that was running the network storage and when i took it out actually i did put a date on it uh, so the 2nd of jan 2019 so it's currently august 2024 so it did run for five and a half years that battery so that wasn't too bad at all i don't think let's see if the cheaper 20 pound version will run just as long i have put another sticker with a date on it um, and hopefully i can report back so when i plugged it all in again the power shoot software actually said and i can't believe it 37 minutes which is longer than what the official battery said even though it shouldn't have done really um I, I think the draw was very was the same really i'm just running the you know the pc as i said in the monitor um and then what happened was i went onto the other uh, screen and you can see it was charging up it started charging at about it was quite full already the battery that i put in 98 99 it went to and then it went to 100 percent, and it said about 37 minutes on it for an estimated battery time so to be honest very similar um and so far so good so just to let you know that i have been using uh, the normal personal edition of power shoot for years to be honest and it was looking a bit old and i just wondered if there were updates and i went on to the uh, apc website and it turns out that in december 2024 they're going to actually stop supporting the personal edition and we're going to move to this power shoot serial shutdown so i installed it um, and it kind of runs on like a web host in your on your pc really and it does detect the uh, usb data connection and this is what it looks like really so it's a lot different there's a lot more options in here um, you've still got the 100 percent charge and how long the battery uh, the runtime remaining you you can set your installation date so that's just recorded really and obviously a reorder battery link in here as well you can look at your kind of battery management i was on battery management ups status on here as well and then power status and battery status uh, battery management as i went through and then there's diagnostics 
um, for doing a self test and a test alarm as well. And then there's UPS settings. So you can set um, the alarms and the sensitivity. It's a bit like you could in Parachute anyway. Um, and then you can set your event configurations, what you want to happen. And there's email settings in here as well if you want to do that. Uh, and other sort of preferences and shutdown settings about what to do. And energy reporting and kind of management as well. So you can see your CO2 savings, uh, your cost and your energy. And finally, there's like an event log and a kind of data log in here as well. So if you haven't got that installed, it might be worth looking at that. So that's it for the video. Um, what conclusions can I draw? Well, not a lot at the moment because I've only had it installed a few days, uh, but it seems to be running well. I can't believe the kind of backup battery time on it is very similar or even slightly better than the APC version. There isn't a problem with the connectors getting it connected um, there's no issue there obviously time will only tell how long this battery will last as you can see in the video one of my other batteries lasted over five years um, but this battery is like three times cheaper um, than the official version so if this uh, cheaper version runs for at least a year and a half to two years it will have been worth it uh, I'll just have to wait and see and I'll keep you updated uh, about it and see what happens but thanks for watching the video uh, if you did like it give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment as well if you've got a kind of a favorite battery that you like to use with your UPS systems or one I should be looking at especially that I can get my hands on in the UK that is a, a good price and that lasts that you've seen that lasts a long while or tell me if you just prefer going with the branded version and just kind of get on with it and pay the money and uh, just hope that it lasts and you're happy with the warranty on the more expensive versions. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.